Hey there, and welcome to our kitchen. I'm Jenny, this is Lauren, and we're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today, we are cooking up a holiday recipe that features one of our favorite cheeses. That is right, Jenny. We are very excited about this because we both love goat cheese. Uh, maybe you love goat cheese as well, um, but today we are making um, goat cheese cheesecake bites, yes. and they're no-bake, which is awesome, and they're super easy, so perfect for the holidays when things are a little crazy and you need something really quick to whip up. Yeah, and they are delicious. Super, super good. Yes. So let's get started on the filling. The filling is just a few simple ingredients. We have some powdered sugar, a little plain nonfat Greek yogurt. And what I like about this recipe with the incorporation of the plain nonfat Greek yogurt is it actually just gives it even more of that great tangy flavor. Um, that you really are looking for in a cheesecake. Um, but that powdered sugar obviously helps offset it a little bit with the sweetness. Um, yeah. But I love the Greek yogurt in this recipe. It's a little bit of vanilla. And then, of course, the star of this, goat cheese. Goat cheese. So we bought it in the logs. So you can buy goat cheese either already crumbled um, or in the little logs. And you'll find them on our deli cheese island in our stores. Um, so that's what you're looking for for this recipe is the log. Just give this a quick mix together. Oops. <laughs> it's just anytime you're using flour or powdered sugar, you're bound to make a mess. But that's okay. It's worth it. Oh, that consistency looks perfect. All right. So I will give this to you. Excellent. Um, so our next step um, is to add our filling to our little crusts that we have here for our cheesecake. So we're using phyllo um, shells, and you can find these in our frozen department, and you don't have to bake them. They look perfect, which yeah. I love, and we just let them thaw a yeah. little bit. Super easy. You can also buy the phyllo sheets, but these are already kind of shaped into that little tartlet form, so... There's basically zero work involved, which is really nice. Yes, so our next step, we're just going to fill these up with our filling. Um, and this is a great step for the kids, to get the kids in the kitchen helping out, um, just filling them up. So cute. And if you didn't want to make them in the tartlets, um, you could definitely buy like a crust as well, like a regular mm -hmm. pie crust. Yeah, I do like the phyllo because it is kind of light and airy, which pairs really perfectly yes. with the fluffy texture of this filling. And as you're finishing this up, I might swap with you. Yep, and I'll turn this around a little bit. And I'm just going to top it with some fruit oh, preserves. I turned it the wrong way. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> we were on the right track there. So we're using some tart cherry preserves today. Um, again, like the tartness pairs really well with that tartness from the goat cheese and the Greek yogurt. But you could really use any topping that you want. It could be like blackberry preserves. Oh, that would be so good. Um, you could use fresh fruit, so a fresh blackberry or a slice of strawberry. Or even a cranberry. We were just yeah. talking about cranberries would be fun. Very festive. Or some pomegranate. These are great for holiday parties um, or even if you're having... Um, like a New Year's get-together. Just is more of like a little appetizer. Yeah, and I do like the size because during the holidays, I feel like there are so many different desserts out there, and yes. I love dessert, so I kind of want to eat everything. Yes, I'm the same. I need a taste of everything, but this is a perfect portion for just having a taste, which is nice. Yes. And they're so pretty, too. They are. They just look so festive. You put them on a cute little platter like this, bring them to a party, whip them up before maybe you have some guests coming over. So beautiful. All right. Last one. Excellent. All right. Let's try one. Yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. Oh, my gosh. The goat cheese is so good. Mm -hmm. And we should have mentioned, too, you don't need to refrigerate these right after you make them to let them set or anything. They're good to go, but you could definitely refrigerate them if yeah. you were going to put them out maybe later. We would definitely put them in the fridge. Yeah. And if you are having a holiday party, you might want to double it, depending on yes. what kind of sweet tooth your guests have. <laughs> yes. We use the whole box of the shells, which 15 come in a box, but you could buy you know, two or three boxes yeah. if you wanted to make a ton of them because 
These will go fast, yes. we know that for sure. They're super good. Well, we hope you give these delicious cheesecake bites a try this holiday season. And for more holiday recipe ideas, visit festfoods.com slash seasons.